Hello everyone! We are live streaming right now from Oshamame, Hokkaido, Japan. Today's Hokkaido Self-Drive Tour 2020 is organized by the Hokkaido District Transport Bureau, Ministry of Land, Infrastructure, Transport and Tourism. And we're streaming to you live now. I'm in Oshamambe town in southern Hokkaido, which faces the Pacific Ocean. And you can see it right outside this window once you get past all the winter snow. I'm Delena and I'm your host for the webinar today. If you've been to Hokkaido in the last 15 or so years, you may have heard my voice somewhere announcing the next stop is Sapporo Station on JR trains, buses, and many other public transportation and locale. I'm so happy to be with you today. We appreciate all of you so much for registering and participating in this webinar, whether you're viewing live from Zoom or on YouTube. I'm at restaurant Hamanoya in Oshamambe, which is a favorite with the locals. Hamanoya has large fish tanks where they house all of their freshly caught crab and other seafood, just like this boat-shaped one behind me now. There's lots of crab right back here. <laughs> We're going to be showcasing hidden gems of Hokkaido from three different unique areas. In today's videos, we're going to introduce you to new places, activities, and gourmet cuisine recommended by the local tourism associations. And who knows better what to recommend than them. There will be live broadcasts from these areas as well. Make sure you stick around so you don't miss anything. If you're viewing this and thinking, oh, I really wish that my friend or family could be watching this, you have our special permission to please share the Zoom and YouTube links with anyone and everyone you think would enjoy learning about these beautiful Hokkaido locations. Thank you so much. During the webinar, please feel free to comment in the chat so you can ask your questions and if you have any other things, you can also email the staff later or at any time. We'd love for you to be interacting with us and with other viewers. Even if we're unable to respond to all the questions immediately, you can email the management office anytime. Feel free to contact us after the webinar as well. And we have a special guest today, the popular YouTuber who's in Singapore, Jib Oji-san. Jib Oji-san, are you there? Hi, Delena. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hello. Oh. Wow. Nice to meet you again, Delena. It looks very cold. It is a little cold here today. Um, have to keep it cold for the crab, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah. I just yeah. want to thank all my uh, everyone who's joined the screen. I think we are all missing Hokkaido, and we were we are excited. We were excited about this event. So you, we are taking our viewers to three secret spots, right, in Hokkaido. <laughs> yes. So, Jibouji san I heard that uh, travel has resumed from Singapore to some countries. Oh. Have you been anywhere lately? I actually visited uh, Europe, Europe in uh, November before the Omicron wave. <sighs> so that was yeah. really fun. Um, it felt amazing because I think people living in Singapore, we crave for, you know, uh, cold weather. So it was really <laughs> nice. And a lot of us are also missing Hokkaido. We are waiting for the borders to open up. Yeah, well, we are too. We're really looking forward to having you all come back into our borders and our cold uh, winter wonderland yes. again. <laughs> well, yes, as we wait for that, there's mm -hmm. no reason at all that we can't tell you and show you some of these amazing places you can visit when you get to come again. So we've yes. got three perfect driving routes for you to mm. show see um, these really unique areas. I've been in Hokkaido for 20 years and I didn't really know much about these areas until I got to go wow. myself. Yes. So it's really lesser known and hidden. Yeah, it is really great to get off the beaten okay. path. So let's get into it and begin our tourism webinar, Hokkaido Self-Drive 2022. Yay. The All first right. The first area we want to show you is the Northern Soya area. Soya, this, yes. Yeah. This is the northmost area of Japan, including Wakanai City, 
and you can enjoy abundant nature, fresh seafood, and take a trip by ferry to remote islands of Rishiri and Leibun. It's located approximately 300 kilometers from Sapporo and 240 kilometers from Asahigawa city. There are so many scenic spots to enjoy on the long distance drive to Wakanai. There are links in the chat that you can follow with more detailed information on the activities and facilities that are featured in these videos. So, let's get started on the first video. Athletes from all over the country come to train and compete here at the Wakanai Midori Sports Park. I'm going to try curling today. Hello. I'd like to try curling. Uh, let's see. Hello. Konnichiwa. Wakanai Midori Sports Park へようこそ。えー、それではカーリング体験やっていきましょう。Okay, great. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, wow. This is the northernmost railway station in Japan, Wakanai Station. I'm at Cape Soya. Let's go check out this famous monument. Come on. This is the northernmost point in Japan. I'm at the northernmost point of Japan. ようこそ沖縄へ。今こちらのツアーセンターベースソヤで自転車お貸ししてますんで、もしよければ白い道一緒に行きませんか。Oh yes, I'd love to. 行ってみましょう。Okay. I can't believe how beautiful this place is. ぜひ稚内で食べてほしいタコしゃぶっていうものがあるんですよこちらの車や源氏さんで食べれるので行ってみましょうか That sounds great 稚内 famous dishes タコしゃぶしゃぶ Alright, just like they told me deep in the pot and five times to しゃぶしゃぶ Shall I go for it? Mm. Oh my gosh, that flavor is amazing. I'm here in Sarafutsu village and we're going to get a wonderful introduction from somebody who knows the area super well. Mr. Takizawa? Nice to see you. What is the most wonderful thing about this area? Sarufsumura of Kumu, Kono Chikiwa, Hotate ga, Taihen Oishku, Gyogakudaka mo, Nihon Ichi no Chiki des. Wow, that sounds amazing! Zehi, Taiken to, Tabete Kimasho. Let's go! Oh wow, that looks great. Oh, look at that. Oh, I'm so excited. I love scallops, and Hokkaido has the best scallops of any place I've tried in the world. Oh, it smells really good. Mm. Mm. That is the sweetest scallop I have ever tasted. Oh my gosh. Mm. Perfection. Sarusumura wa hotate dake ja naku. Oh, my favorite! This is lingonberry soft serve ice cream. Mm. Oh, my goodness, that is so refreshing and sweet and delicate. 
Mm. Wow. Sarafutsu really has a lot to offer. I absolutely think you should come here. I'm here at the Wakanai Ferry Terminal, and it looks like a gorgeous day to take a leisurely two-hour ride to Daebun Island. Come on, let's go. I'm at Takechan Sushi right in the ferry port terminal and I've asked them to bring me their specialty. Look at that! Oh my goodness! This looks amazing. Let's eat. So good. One of the most popular activities on Daebun is trekking, and I've got an expert who's going to guide me around today, Mr. Horiuchi. Yokoso, Daebun Toe. Thank you. Kono Momoiwa Tenbou Dai Course wa, Reinen, Oku no Kyak Sama ni Irashi Ita Raiteru, Ninki no Trekking Course no Teimas. Hana no Kishima to Yoreru Hodo, Taksan no Hana ga Sai Teimas no de, Dozo Go Yukuri o Tano Shimi Kudasai. Oh, that sounds great. Shall we go? Oh my gosh! This view is so incredible! Oh, I love this place! I'm at the Momoiwa Observatory, and the trekking path up here was really gentle and lovely, but the real beauty starts from here. It's a perfect day to see Rishiri Mountain. <laughs> oh, so beautiful. Welcome to the movie set of Kita no Kanariatachi, a super popular movie that was filmed right here next to the cafe. Chidori restaurant on Daebun Island is the place to get hokke no chan chan yaki. And Mr. Nishioka is going to tell me all about it. Wow, that looks like a really great piece of fish. Oh, wow. That's great. Look at this, it's so gorgeous. That packs a punch. Flavor is just phenomenal. <laughs> Look at this huge fairy! I'm riding on the Heartland Ferry to Rishiri Island now. And this is one of their new vessels. It's so clean and beautiful. Wow! Look at this gorgeous cabin. Across from the Oshidomari Ferry Terminal is Isoyakite, which is renowned for its sea urchin. This looks so amazing! That is melt in your mouth, buttery <laughs> sea urchin goodness. So amazing. <laughs> I'm here in Nishiri to try my hand at picking sea urchins straight from the ocean. Let's go! 
ocean on one side and Mount Rishiri right behind us. To show me how to harvest sea urchins, I'm getting help from a specialist, Mr. Uzami. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Hello. Okay. Oh, I see one right there. Wow, look at this beauty. <gasps> wow. <gasps> this is going to be amazing. Mm. Buttery, sweet, salty from the ocean. Fantastic. Hi, konnichiwa. My name is Chin. Welcome to this this city, Otada Mari no Ma. So let's go together. Okay, please. Wow. This looks really familiar. Yeah. Do you know Shirokoi Koi Pitokuki? Please call again. Yes. <laughs> I will, for sure. Please. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. See you next time. Bye bye. Toyotomi Town is famous for its hot spring onsens, and I can't wait to try this one. This onsen water contains a natural oil which feels silky smooth on the skin, smells incredible, and is said to have healing properties for skin conditions. After that amazing hot onsen bath, I walked across the street to the Furiai Center to enjoy one of the local specialties. はい、どうも私しました。こちら名物、え、蝦子鹿のジンギスカンになりますので、どうぞお召し上がりください。ベネッセンジンギスカン。ルクスメイジング。トヨトミ町はあの、温泉の他に蝦子鹿肉もすご
Um, it's just amazing, really, amazing. like a new, a new culture. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we're moving into Maosan over in Northern Soya area. Shimada-san. Shimada-san, are you there? Shimada-san. Hello, ah. Northern yes, Soya area. Yeah, hi. Hello. Oh, hi. I, I see some, someone behind you. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very good character. Yes. So cute, huh? Yeah. Who is that? Ah, uh, that's you know, Suzuki. What kind of tourism association's character? Adorable. Ah, uh, uh, really? Thank you. He's <laughs> so quiet. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so can I start? Yeah. Okay. Hello, everyone in Singapore. Uh, this is Tom Shimada reporting from Wakana City, Northern Soya area. Uh, I'm visiting Cape Soya with Dashinosuke. Dashinosuke. Uh, mm -hmm. Wakana's um, Tourism Association's character name. Very cute. Uh, it takes about 40 minutes by car and 30 kilometers long from Wakana City to Cape Soya. This is Cape Soya in summer. Every year, many tourists and riders come to this place, especially in summer. The next picture is White Road. On the opposite side of Cape Soya, there is White Road, which is made of scallop shells. It's so beautiful, especially in summer. You can enjoy cycling and footpath there. So let's see outside for a while from the car. <laughs> oh my goodness, you're driving. <laughs> yeah, I'm not driving. Well, no, <laughs> not you. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, what a beautiful day. Yeah, it's beautiful today. Oh, snowing. <laughs> yes, so different wow. from the summertime and the autumn drive that I did. Yeah, yeah. It's still it's gorgeous. Usually, no. Yeah. Mm. The sea is usually wow. rough in winter. I have a request. Please don't take pictures or movies while driving. It's so dangerous. Right. You need to have a driver like you do. <laughs> yeah. It's so a beautiful, beautiful day, but uh, it's a little bit windy. Uh, yeah. I remember Cape Soya being extremely windy ah, yeah. when I was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I see it. I see it. Oh, yeah. Can you see the monument? Yeah, on the left, right? <laughs> and I, uh, I, someone's I see someone. there. Someone's there. Not Dashinos. Whoa, oh. Who's there? What? <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. Let's get off and I'll show you around. Wow. I know that like character on the left. Oh, what can I see this character? Rinzo kun. Hi, Rinzo kun. Wow. This is. Yeah, this is Rinzo Kun, very cute. Very, oh, you're samurai? Are you samurai? Yeah, very <laughs> strong. And this is Sarufu from Sarufutsu Village. Very Hi, Saru. cute. Uh, Hi. Aren't you cold? Okay. All right, thank you for welcoming us. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> wow. Can that's amazing. Can yeah, the monument? the monument. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful, Yeah, beautiful. that's the monument of the northernmost point in Japan. Wow. It's an incredible very, feeling very to cool. stand there. Yeah. 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 That space very is windy, gorgeous also green year. in summer. It's yeah, yeah, it's green in summer. Uh, it's very windy all through the year at Kitsoya. Oh. So, Sarupu is here. So, I'm going to introduce Sarupu to village. Yes, please. It takes about 30 minutes from here to Sarufutsu village. There is a straight 16 kilometer long road in Sarufutsu village. This is the road. It's very popular for riders and tourists. The view around and over the road is fantastic. This village has a lot of catch of scallops and many kinds of seafood is sold there. 
Soya area has a lot of catch of seafood too. It's famous for scallops like Sarabutu village. Ooh. It looks amazing. See you. Thank you. Thank you for waiting. Bye bye. Bye bye. So cute. Wow, wow. Look over the sea. No. We can see something. Can you see something over there? Over the eh? sea? Oh, you mean mountain? in the distance? Like. Mountain like thing. Yeah, yeah, I see it. Mountain. Mountain like. I don't know. But I'm sure. I'm not sure about mountain like thing. Can you see mm. over there? Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah in the, yeah. Hor the horizon. It's Russia. Right. Russia. Yeah. Wow. You're very lucky today. Wow, it's so clear today, right? Yeah, it's Why? clear, clear up. So we can see it. Wow. I'm sure you must have some cloudy days, but every time I've been there, it's been beautiful, like today. That's, that's so cool. Oh, I see something blue. <laughs> Where that? are you taking us? Let's go into the souvenir shop, Hashiwaya shop. Oh, yay. Uh, please look at the thermometer up there. Can you read it? Mine is 1.9 centigrade. Not so cold. Wow. Not so oh, cold. Yeah. yeah. Not so cold. <laughs> yeah. Let's go into the shop. Wow. Oh, man. I miss Wow. There these. are many kinds of souvenirs. Let's look, look, look around in the shop. Oh, yeah. Oh, lavender. Lavender. And I saw some of that bottled water, like the Rishiri oh, oh, Raven yeah, yeah. Island water is so delicious. Yes. Oh, I yes. always buy a bunch of bottles to bring back to Sapporo. Really? Yeah. T-shirts and uh, canned food and pelts. Uh, oh, food. Curry mm. and rice. Yeah, the kelp there is some of the best in the world, I think. Everyone, please don't forget to do this. Uh, to buy this, sir. Uh, it's a certificate of the most northern point in Japan. Mm -hmm. ah, Today's date and the time are printed like this. Oh wow, it's like I an official this is gonna, document. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. I think this is gonna be the uh, great memory for you. Oh yeah, I wish I had gotten one of those. How much does that cost? Mm -hmm. So let's take a look at this. <laughs> this is Rishiri Kelp Noodle. Rishiri is the name of the island. It takes about two hours from Wakana City to the island. And Rishiri kelp is very famous all over Japan. The kelp is mixed into the noodles. These noodles are salty and has rich taste. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a present by lottery for you. So why don't you apply for it? Mm. Oh. Let's go outside because the uh, oh characters are waiting for us. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Are you? Hey guys! Yeah. Of course, Northern Soya area is a great place, but there are many other places, uh, attractive places like Sarufutsu Village, Toyotomi Town, Rishiri Town and Rebun Town. Please enjoy a driver driving sightseeing here if you come to Japan. That's all for reporting from Wakane City, Northern Soya area. Thank you for watching this. Bye for now. Bye now. Thank you so much, Shimada-san. Wow, I've never been there in like. 
to Soya in this winter season, but I did go to Wakanae for the previous webinar, and it's yeah. cold but beautiful. Ooh. Yeah, it, it's, colder, it's colder than Sapporo, right? Because it's more Further north, northern? Further north. Yeah, typically yes. it is. Wow. But I think we get more snow in Sapporo, and it's a bit more windy up in the northern parts. Right, 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 right. Right, especially very along the coastline, cool, it's quite windy. Well, everybody, uh -huh. um, how did you enjoy that live presentation from Soya and Wakanai? I thought it was amazing, and I really want to get those noodles. <laughs> okay, next, we have some useful information for everyone for your self-drive trip to Hokkaido. Please pay careful attention to these points about traffic rules and traffic safety in Japan. In Japan, we're actively seeking to keep foreign visitors safe by preventing traffic accidents. We especially ask you to for follow these four important instructions. One, never use smartphones while driving. I know it's really tempting, but there are very strict laws in Japan, so please do give your phones and your cameras to your passengers if you're the one driving. Two, the most common accidents in Japan are at intersections, especially when a car is making a right turn across traffic. Three, pedestrians always have the right of way. Remember to, remember to be considerate of pedestrians and bicyclists. Four, do not use smartphones while walking. Just like in the car, I know it's tempting, but please take a moment to stop, get your bearings, use your maps, and then continue your path, especially in the cities where there's a lot of foot traffic and other traffic. The link in the chat will give you more details. So, Jiboji-san, what was your yes, experience I mean, uh, as a cyclist here? Beautiful, just amazing. Um, I, I, had so, I have so many great memories uh, cycling. Of course, driving mm -hmm. also should be amazing. It, I think the charm is to is that you can uh, stop by all these little villages and towns and some towns have like far local farms and they provide like a gelato you know and oh my goodness, yeah. it's so it's just so amazing they're also delicious uh lots of animals like deers sometimes bears so yeah. i mean again that's why like you don't really want to you know it's i know it's very tempting but you don't really want to look at your smartphone while you're driving because it's not just mm -hmm. the humans Animals can uh, come by like any time, so yeah, it's important to be careful. For sure, there are a lot of deer and fox um, that cross the roads mm. frequently, so you need to be careful yeah. and diligent. Hokkaido has a pretty uh, high accident rate compared to other places too, I think because it's so much rural area that sometimes people really speed and uh, yeah. maybe aren't paying as close attention as they should be. So we want you to be safe on your, your travel mm. here. And remember, if you're here uh, on vacation, you can take your time and really stop and enjoy everything on your way. Yeah. 